name is Tracy Duffield and I work here with my family on our 400 acre family owned and operated farm. We are located in Washington Township, Gloucester County, New Jersey. Hey, do you know what New Jersey's nickname is? It's the Garden State. I'm going to teach you a new word today. That word is agriculture. And agriculture is another word for farming. And in New Jersey, it's the third largest industry. So we're happy to be part of that big industry. So come on along with me as we tour the farm. Let's go. Hello, friends. Here I am in the tomatoes. Did you know that tomatoes are the official vegetable for the state of New Jersey? And here at our farm, we start our tomatoes in the greenhouse by seed or seedlings and then transplant them into the field with a transplant. New Jersey tomatoes are the second most popular crop, vegetable crop grown in our state and in the top 10 for the whole entire nation. Did you know we're known for the famous Jersey tomato? And that's because we grow our tomatoes for taste, not for travel. Come on, we're gonna check out some peppers next. Well friends, here we are in our greenhouse with our pepper plants. Just like tomatoes, our peppers are started with seed and then transplanted into the field with a transplant. We haven't planted any peppers yet because it still gets a little bit too cold at night. The state of New Jersey is third for pepper production in the whole United States. And here at our farm, we grow lots of different varieties of peppers. Variety means we have different, um, we have bell peppers, we have long hot peppers, we have frying peppers, all different colors and varieties. Well friends, this is an orchard. An orchard is a farm that grows fruit trees. And here at Duffield's farm, we have an apple orchard and a peach orchard because we go, grow both types of fruit. In the state of New Jersey, we are the third largest peach production state in the whole entire nation. And in the state of New Jersey, Gloucester County, the county that we live in, is one of the highest producers for the state. You know, peaches are a lot of work. People don't realize that these trees have to be taken care of almost all year round. Late winter, early spring, they prune the trees, which means they cut off some branches to thin the trees out. And then in late spring, early summer, they actually have to thin the peaches. And actually the way we do that is hit the branches with a baseball bat to knock some of the blooms off. That way, the tree will produce a nice, healthy peach when it comes time to harvest. Here's a fun fact. There are 80 peach orchards in the state of New Jersey, and in one year, we harvest over 50 million pounds of peaches. I think that's pretty good. All right, let's move on. Well, friends, here we are in the squash field. It's kind of hard for you to see the squash, but we're gonna show you a picture right here. Here at Duffield's Farm, we grow two different types of squash. We have summer squash, which is your normal yellow squash and zucchini green squash. Or we also grow winter squash, which is more like your butternut, spaghetti squash, acorn squash. The summer squash has a real soft skin on it, and the winter squash has a much harder shell to it, so that it can be protected in the colder temperatures. Can you guess? strawberry field. This is my favorite time of the year. I can just smell the aroma of fresh strawberries and this is where they grow. We grow a lot of strawberries here at Duffield's Farm and we harvest them for our farm market but we also open the fields for pick your own so you can come and pick your own strawberries. The strawberries are another plant that we have to pretty much take care of almost all year. If you can see any of the white blankets in the fields 
That's actually keeping our strawberries protected all winter long. And then when it starts to get warm, we have to uncover them, cover them back up, uncover them, cover them back up. It's a lot of work. And ask any of our farmers, it's not their favorite job on the farm. But if it helps us to produce these beautiful red strawberries that are really juicy and sweet, it's well worth it. If you look at our strawberry fields, you're gonna see all these nice plants, and then you're gonna see the strawberry bloom, which is this little white flower. That white flower is gonna turn into the actual strawberry. If we come down this way, we can see where we have green strawberries, where the bloom was, and then they turn into those nice, big, red, juicy berries. Well, friends, here we are in Duffield's spinach patch. In the state of New Jersey, we are the second largest producer for spinach in the whole entire nation. And we grow spinach here at Duffield's farm. This is the spinach plant, and it's the leaf of the spinach plant that we actually eat. And it's very, very good for you. Well, friends, this is where some of our important workers live, in these colored boxes. These are our beehives. Did you know that bees are the official insect for the state of New Jersey? And they're very, very important to farming. Before a lot of our crops could grow their flowers, they need to be pollinated. And they're pollinated by the bees. Pollination happens when pollen grains and flowers are transferred from the stamen to the pistil the parts that stick up out of the center. The pollinating insects go from flower to flower, taking that pollen on their legs from one flower and depositing it on another flower. If we didn't have bees working for us, we wouldn't have any fruit or vegetables. So thanks to our bees, we can do our job as farmers. Well friends, we're almost finished our farm tour. But before you leave, I want to show you one more thing that's very important to our farmers, and that's our farm machines. We need help doing our jobs as farmers, and these machines really help us. This is one of our tractors, and we have many, because we have many jobs that need to be done with the tractors, and different types of jobs. Our, we use our farm machines to pull lots of equipment, and behind this tractor is our disc harrow. Our disc harrow is turn the ground over in the spring and the back part of it levels it off so it's ready to plant. And friends, this is our transplanter. Remember when I told you that some of 
of our crops are started in the greenhouse by seed and then transplanted into the field, this is the machine that does it. A worker sits on each chair, somebody drives the tractor, and then the wheel in the center spins and actually puts a hole in the ground. And the two workers on the chairs take turns planting the plant into the hole. And the plants sit on these platforms. This piece of equipment gets a lot of use during this time of year. Well, friends, this is where our tour ends. It ends for us, but begins for you. Because this is where we sell all of our fresh fruits and vegetables that we grow here on our farm. I hope you enjoyed our tour today at Duffield's Farm. And don't forget, this summer, eat all those fresh, Jersey fresh fruits and vegetables. Have a good day.